what is the hardest part about balancing swimming pool water? As a new swimming pool owner, it can be pretty overwhelming when you, you know, start to explore the chemical maintenance for pools and what you need to do. There's a lot of terminology gets that gets thrown around, a lot of different chemical names, things you've never heard of. It's it can be super overwhelming. What you lack at this point is a relative context. You know, there yes, you're going to need to know about a lot of stuff for sure. There's some things that you're going to set that level in your pool and you kind of leave it and you don't really test for it regularly and you don't adjust the levels for it regularly. So, yes, there's a lot of stuff, but you don't understand at this point, you know, what is this what is actually going to be my day-to-day level interaction with this swimming pool? Where should I focus my efforts in terms of educating myself? How will I make my life easier maintaining this pool? And what I would encourage new swimming pool owners to do is spend time learning about the relationship between pH and total alkalinity in your water. Now, there's a lot of stuff you need to know. Chlorine's important and cyanuric acid and cyanuric acid's important and you know definitely don't get phosphates or else you need phosphate remover and other stuff the relationship between ph and alkalinity will be the source of a lot of frustration for swimming pool owners and especially new pool owners these two things are integrated together and when you adjust the level of one the other tends to move as well and there's definitely balancing is the right word for it because that's exactly how it feels like when you're balancing ph and alkalinity so if you're just getting started out and you want to focus your efforts efforts a little bit more and be productive with your time and where should you where should you learn what should you be studying study about ph study about how you want the water to be a neutral ph so that it's comfortable for you to be in and then learn about how total alkalinity helps to buffer the movement of ph and that's why you need to set your total alkalinity levels such that when your ph is in the right range it will be inclined to stay in the right range and again that's been the source of frustration for a lot of new pool owners and i would encourage you to spend some time learning more about that. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.